So basically, um, I'll be talking about systemic sclerosis or scleroderma associated IOD. So in interstitial lung diseases overall, the interstitium, so the area that separates the red blood cells from the air sac, um, is thickened by a mixture of inflammation and scar tissue, as we can see here on the right, such that exchange of oxygen going into the red blood cells and carbon dioxide being moved out of the blood cells into the air sac um, is made more difficult. Um, interstitial lung disease is frequent in scleroderma, but in many patients it is only limited and will not progress. So as you can see here with these two examples, on the left, we have an essentially normal lung of a patient with scleroderma. On the right, we have a patient with extensive disease. This is a CT, high resolution CT section. And you can see that compared to the left, the lungs are whiter, they're grayer rather than blackish. So this white is called ground glass. And you can see that the airways are more visible. So here they are, some examples. So they're more dilated. They're a bit wrinkly, and this is what is called traction bronchiectasis because it's believed that the surrounding scarring pulls the airways apart, which then become more visible. So basically